70, 20, 10. I've been writing a song and making a video every day since January 1st, 2009, and on September 28th, 2011, I reached my thousandth song a day song. If you picked a random number between 1 and 1,000 on that day and listened to the corresponding song, there'd be a 20% chance that that song would totally suck. There'd be a 70% chance that song would be mediocre, but then there'd be a 10% chance, a glorious 10% chance, that the song would be totally, completely awesome. 70, 20, 10. But let's back up to the beginning. I started writing songs at the age of 12, but I didn't write anything good until about 16, and throughout college I wrote more and taught myself how to record. I also wrote, produced, and starred in a rock opera alongside Thomas Hughes of the Spinto Band called The Last Nymphal Leprechaun. Then, to delay the inevitable real world, I went to grad school where I wrote another rock opera, this one based on the Super Mario Brothers. Then, when the real world finally came calling, I started making online videos. I created a character called Game Jew. Here are some of the highlights. I went to Ghana and learned about the video game culture there. I was the first person on the entire West Coast to get a Wii. I sang the Mario creator Shigeru Miyamoto. I wrote the music for a musical episode of a show on G4 called X-Play. I got caught in the middle of a May Day riot in LA. I wrote singing video game reviews for 1UP.com. I got invited to Vienna, Austria to do a two-month artist residency. To get home from Europe, I sailed on a boat 18 days on the open ocean. I started making a song on video a day shortly after arriving home. Now, most of these songs and videos come and go like moments in time seen by my small and loyal audience on YouTube, but occasionally they go viral, like number 77 about Paul Krugman, or 202, which won a Microsoft-sponsored jingle competition and was called The Worst Jingle Ever by TechCrunch writer M.G. Siegler, or number 217, in which I responded to his criticism with a song about him, or number 561 about the iPhone 4, which Steve Jobs used to open Apple's AntennaGate press conference, saying... Saw that on YouTube this morning and couldn't help but uh, want to share it. Sometimes the songs lead to or are inspired by really interesting experiences, like when I performed the Krugman song live on the Rachel Maddow show, or number 588 in which I was commissioned to write a birthday song for Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak, or number 663 in which I was commissioned to write a birthday song for TED founder Richard Saul Werman and invited to show the video at TED Med 2010 in San Diego, or number 355, which I wrote while in the throes of food poisoning. I've been puking up my guts. Or number 566, which I wrote with half of my face numb, having just gotten a root canal. In April of 2011, I raised $13,000 from friends and fans on Kickstarter and used the money to record an album throughout the month of June. The album, in many ways, is a culmination of Song of Day thus far, incorporating everything I've learned while adding in the element of collaboration. Over 30 friends contributed in person and remotely to the project, the entirety of which was live streamed 10 hours a day. I'm not stopping Song of Day. I have no reason to. Through the friends I've made and the places it's brought me, this project has been the most important of my life so far, and I'm hoping it's just getting started.